a new revision of the Dell S3220 DGF monitor has been recently released of a manufactured date of September 2020. And a big shout out to Tim V that informed me of this new revision from Europe, as you can see here on the box, revision A04 with a September 2020 manufactured date. Hey look, it says a flat panel monitor, but we all know it's curved. <laughs> and here with the Xbox One, you can see 1440p at 120 hertz, also being able to see a 4K UHD signal on this A04 revision, just like the A03 that we all just recently exchanged. And if you have an older panel, you won't be able to do this through HDMI, so please check out my S3220 DGF playlist to see how simple it is to get an exchange from your A00, A01, or A02 to a new A03 or A04. Hopefully you're that lucky to get a newer A04 panel. But nothing seems to be different here on this A04 revision, except for something that I have chatted with Dell, also with other commenters that have also found information from Dell directly. It seems that the new A04 revision with the Dell Display Manager application, the revision, according to Dell, just allows you to control the monitor's menu through a DisplayPort or HDMI connection not through USB. You should download this Dell Display Manager application. It's really useful and let's get into it so you can see what this does. I have it installed here on my computer right now. And here with Display Manager, you can see, you can control all the presets from the monitor itself, the brightness and the contrast. And you can set all the windows that you currently want. Now currently on default with windows, you just, you know, there's a four box top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, four way window or side by side. But this new Dell application allows you, as you can see here with the yellow line, it's one flat screen. So you can't make any, you see, I'm trying to side it on the left, right, top, bottom. It won't make it into a four way or a smaller window because you just chose that you wanted a one flat panel. Now here also, this is a three way. As you can see, you still can't move it in little boxes, just these three windows. So you just pick what you want. It's very useful. And as you can see, they have so many options. Here, let's go into the actual window sections. As you can see, so many options. You can have a lot of windows open for different applications. It makes this monitor into a, you know, six, seven, eight windowed monitor. It's awesome. And also an auto, let's just say you're on the internet or browsing or doing a specific task. You can actually have the monitor automatically display a certain preset that you like, warm, cooler, more contrast, less contrast, it just depends on the application. But it's good to know that the A04 revision is nothing crazy, nothing different compared to our A03 panels that we just exchanged or that you recently got on a sale in 2020. Just make sure, as you've seen in my other video, make sure your panel is an A03 June manufactured date as that allows 120 Hertz at 1440p through HDMI for PC, laptops, and console gaming in the future like Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. You cannot get those with a prior panel. It has to be A03 June 2020 and on. Thanks Tim and everyone that sends information here into the channel, into the comments will help everybody make a better buying decision and that's what this channel is about. It's helping you in your buying decision so you know what's different, what's new, what's out there so you can make the best informed purchase possible. Once again, thanks Tim V for this new info. And another shout out to Origins Garage. Thank you for confirming that you've talked to Dell also like I have with this new display manager application update that Dell has informed that is built in to the revision A04, which we can still do this through USB as I could have done with my A00 panel, but Dell decided to make a new revision, maybe to make sure that there is no confusion with the A03 as anything before A03 with a April, May or prior to June 2020 does not have the new update with the 120 Hertz 1440p option. It only is after June 2020 A03. So now we know that the A04 will have everything included. The one to get so there is no mix up is the revision A04. So if you're out shopping in the holiday season, make sure it's an A04 or make sure it's an A03 with a June 2020 manufactured date. So you're covered again with the 1440p at 120 hertz through HDMI for PC, laptop and console gaming in the future. It's very useful and I think everyone should download this. and It'll give you much more functionality on your monitor. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out on a future Dell S32 DGF video. I'll see you guys next time.